Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. We danced by smiles. Footsteps aren't an uncommon thing to hear when you're sitting in a basement, so I think nothing of it when I hear quiet thuds coming from my upstairs hallway. I assume it's just my brother, and I continue doing whatever little pointless thing I was doing at the time. They go on for another couple of minutes, and I start to get a little pissed off. They keep getting louder and louder, and I sigh, wondering what the hell my brother's doing this late at night. I sit there because it's impossible to focus with this racket. I mean, it sounds like someone's power walking all over my main floor. I sit there and I listen as the thumps get faster, wilder. They just keep moving, almost starting to form a rhythm. And then they move even faster and get even wilder and they're thumping all over my main floor. And I realize that whatever this is, it can't be human. No human moves like that. What the fuck, I yell. After that, all the noises stop. Everything's quiet for a moment, and then I hear calm, slow footsteps moving to my basement door. The door is pushed open, and the footsteps stop again. I listen to my breathing for the next three minutes, and then sigh, thinking it's over. Turns out something else was listening to. Suddenly, I hear it thudding down the stairs and I knock my chair over in my haste to stand up. I start to run towards the nearest closet just in time to see a grotesque, hairless, four-legged creature dancing toward me, tapping its swollen feet in an intoxicating rhythm. I dive into the closet and slam the door shut. There's a half-second pause and then I hear that same rhythm on the door. It just keeps going and going with no pauses, no rests, no relief. He's been at it for hours now and I find myself tapping my fingers along with his song. But then, just as suddenly as it began, it ends. I wait for a few moments and look out. He's gone. I flip on a light and fall into a chair. It's safe. I relax, and I think for a few moments. But then, I notice my foot tapping. Maybe this song isn't so bad. I almost like it enough to dance to it. So I drop down to my hands and feet, and I start dancing. Not all of us snap by I post at midnight. Yeah, it's weird, I told the investigator. How these things always seem to happen when some big national scandal's going on, everyone gets distracted. Well, how well did you know, Mr. Walker? Not very. Uh, he worked in that cubicle over there, but hardly ever spoke. Quiet guy. I'll bet you hear that a lot, officer. Notice any unusual behavior? Before he shot up the mall? No, nothing much. Well, thank you. If we have any more questions. Oh, wait. Um, he had two phones. Every morning, he'd place one by his keyboard, like a ritual. I don't know why. In two years, I had never heard it ring until the other day. Walker nearly falls off his chair. I saw him answer, and a minute later, he just left the office. Forever, it turns out. Maybe he got some bad news? I swear, the investigator stared at me for a full minute after that. Then he nodded noted my cooperation, and moved on to my co-workers. That was a while ago. Not long afterwards, I was working late when I heard a phone ringing. I tracked it to Walker's desk drawer, beneath photos of his daughter. It was the spare phone that I had noticed. Stupidly, 
I answered the call like they knew I would. They said that they may call again someday, and then they explained why I would answer in graphic detail. I'm very quiet these days. I come to work, I pull out the phone, I place it where I'll be sure to hear it if it rings beside my family's picture. Then I check the internet, praying there aren't any big scandals breaking. And when there are, I pray my name hasn't reached the top of their call list yet. So stay scary, my wildlings. Remember to look out for yourself, but listen as well, and make the most of your nights.